Hello, I'm Ted and welcome to my world of modelling. Um, now just recently a lot of people have been asking me if I could do um, a how-to video. Um, so that's what I will attempt to do today. Now, bearing in mind that Stephen is not here at the moment and he's the one that normally shoots all these videos. Um, and I've never actually <laughs> shot one myself. Um, so I bothered Stephen's uh, camcorder. And this is my first attempt, so... Um, I'll start with, um, I watched a film a few weeks ago with Robert Redford called um, Jeremiah Johnson and he played a mountain man and then it built a log cabin in the wilderness and I was fascinated by the construction. The, the, uh, the logs have jointed like this. If I can just show you, without fumbling too much. They're locked together like that. And I thought what a brilliant way to construct because they're all, it's all interlocking. It's far better than the half joints at the ends. All they did was notch them out top and bottom like that. And this is what I've come up with. I tried to build it uh, similar to the way it would have been built out in the wilds. The timbers, with that method I showed you, would be put close together and all the gaps would be filled in with a mixture of uh, soil, water and anything that was viable like leaves, um, grass, hair, anything, anything that come to hand and that would be rammed in between the logs to make it as uh, airtight, as uh, warm as possible, keep the drafts out. Now they even had a, believe it or not, a wooden fireplace, you wouldn't think that was possible. But what they did, they lined the chimney with about up to six inches of clay that would uh, absorb most of the, the heat and protect the logs. I suppose they had to be replaced occasionally. And a lot of those logs around the fireplace weren't locked in like the rest of the cabin so they could be replaced without too much trouble. They were just built with everything you know that was in the locality. It's not finished yet. Um, there's going to be a feature with this um, this cabin where with the fireplace. Apart from the fact that it will glow, I'll put an incense burner on there. You know the cone type, and that will fit back on there. And then apart from the glowing fire. The smoke will come out of the chimney, hopefully. Well, that's the plan anyway, so watch this. It's not finished yet, but it's turned out quite well. Now, very often when you're building models like this, you want to put some figures on it. And they're not always available. If you can get the right figure, it's probably not the right scale. And so I found an easy method of trying to actually build them yourself. <clears throat> I was in a local shop. And all this sold with these local sort of medieval soldiers. But it's the pose I noticed that could be used in another way. So I went to work with this grinding tool in my pillar drill. With the rest raised up so I could rest my hands on it to hold the, the soldier as steady as possible because this tends to throw the work away. But if you, if you can hold it steadily, it, it sort of gets rid of all the unnecessary detail you want. And then with a, a good craft knife, do the final shaping. And well, this is what I come up with. This is exactly the same figure. <clears throat> Dip them on camera. It's a bit dark, can't really see. See, it's the pose of the soldier wanted. So I just cut away some of the crossbow and added a rifle barrel. Now all I did with this figure, apart from what I told you, was um, I had a coonskin cap with my usual mixture of polyfiller and white PVA glue. I formed the coonskin cap that the old that was popular with the old frontiersmen. I was quite pleased with that. So it's a lot easier to do that than try to make one yourself from scratch. 
All you want is the right scale and the right pose. And that's exactly what I wanted. So, um, what else have I made? There'll be a number of trees on this um, model. So this is just a pine tree I made with the usual mixture that I've just mentioned. I used a piece of mild steel up the middle to make it a bit solid, but then the usual method I got with copper wire wound round and opened out. So I'll leave one snow painting and then the foliage. That's the biggest one in the model, but there will be quite a few more, but smaller than that one. Now in the background to this model, I'll, I'll call it the mountain man. This is the main part of the model. This is nowhere near finished yet, but this is the mountain. I don't know if you can see this very well. Everything you see is um, everything you see is driftwood. I say everything apart from one or two little pieces that they're using construction. But it's all driftwood and I used uh, my own filler mix with to just hide the a few little screws and irregularities, gaps, just to give that um, mountainous effect. I think that should look really quite nice when it's all painted up. Now in there, hopefully, I will fit this little gizmo. This is my water feature, my waterfall. Obviously I've got the bone, this isn't finished, none of it's actually finished. But can you see this? I want to drop a ball on it before it's finished. I think so. This is okay. So I can't see the screen from here. And that's just constructed with half inch ply, just softwood. These wave, I drilled a lot of the wood away, so they weigh next to nothing. Originally I planned to use a small electric motor with this, but I did try it out, but there just wasn't enough torque. So with this one I decided just to go back to the old hand cranking method. But I'll probably use a motor on the next one, but I've got a bit more research to do. So anyway, if I could just... No, I can't finish. Anyway, that fits in there. Hopefully. Just the up at the back. Can you see all of this? That will fit in there. Just slot in. I'm pleased with this. It's just on a half inch ply base. But there's quite a lot of work involved. Um, have I missed anything out? I'm just trying to think now. Stephen said don't ramble on too much, so I'll try not to. Um, I think I'll have to be it for now because I can't think of anything else to say. Now, before I go, I'd just like to thank everybody for the comments they make. I really appreciate it because I love to uh, read, read the comments. From all over the world, really, um, Raggy, America, a nice lady in Venezuela, Eastern Europe. A lot of comments, and I love to read them, so I keep them coming. Um, before I go, there's, there's a lady named Elizabeth, and she commented, believe it or not, that she loves my corny jokes. So this one's just for Elizabeth. Donald Trump has stated that he wants to build a wall between the States and Mexico. Now, a lot of Mexicans aren't happy about it, but they've said they'll quickly get over it. If anybody's still listening, until next time I'll say bye for now.